What do a wacky rich girl, an absent-minded professor, and a housebroken leopard have in common? Well, friends, here's your answer. They're all part of the fun in Howard Hawks' screwball comedy, Bringing Up Baby, starring Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. Next on AMC. <laughs> All of you fans of the screwball comedy, get ready, because today we are about to show you the picture that really defines the whole genre. It includes a paleontologist, a madcap heiress, a lost dinosaur bone, one loose leopard, and that dog for all seasons, Asta. The picture, of course, is Howard Hawks' wonderful bringing up baby, and it co-stars with Asta today, Cary Grant, Katherine Hepburn, and Misa, that was the leopard. Now, if versatility is any measure of an artist's ability, then movie maker Howard Hawks certainly has to rank well toward the top of any list of the great directors. He directed crime films, westerns, war dramas, musicals, and we're about to see comedies. In fact, there are those who credit Howard Hawks with inventing that hybrid genre of the screwball comedy. In 1934, he took an aging matinee idol and his own second cousin and put them together in a script that he knocked out in five days with the writing team of Ben Hecht and Charles MacArthur. The result turned out to be 20th century. And in it, John Barrymore and Carol Lombard raced through their great comic performances at breakneck speed, establishing in the process the headlong, out-of-control pace that's really the hallmark of the whole screwball comedy area. Like Bringing Up Baby, 20th Century started off slowly at the box office, but it grew in estimation of film fans over the years. Now, let's watch Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn at work in Howard Hawks' Bringing Up Baby. Now, I wonder if the people over at Jurassic Park knew what an intercostal clavicle was. When we think of Katherine Hepburn's career, part of what we remember are the many terrific comedies that she made. But up until Howard Hawks cast her in Bringing Up Baby, nobody really knew that she could do this kind of work. Although she was guilty of overdoing it a little bit at first, Hawks was eventually able to bring Katherine Hepburn back to capitalize on her quick wit and sense of timing and physical dexterity, the essential ingredients really for playing this kind of screwball comedy. Now, add to this the assessment of the leopard's trainer that she had control of her nerves and no fear of animals at all, and Hawks had with him a very talented leading lady. But what about Cary Grant? Well, Hawks said, it's pretty hard to think of anybody but Cary Grant and that kind of stuff. He was so far the best that there isn't anybody to be compared with him. Cary Grant was so good at comedy that he and Hawks developed a numerical kind of shorthand for working together. Hawks would call for, say, uh, number seven, which was trying to talk to a woman who was doing a lot of talking in the meantime, and Grant would just take off from there. Pretty amazing, isn't it? But there was only one Cary Grant and probably only one Howard Hawks. Now let's look at this. American Movie Classics presents those original wild and crazy guys. I suppose I'll have to testify to that at the inquest. So grab your friends and get ready. Well, if you fellas don't mind, I think I'll wash up. Yeah, go ahead. The rest of us are already washed up. For our wacky comedy classic, we know you'll like. If you don't like it, we'll put in another scene. You can have any scene you want. When Lucille Ball and Ann Miller join the Marx Brothers in... Room service. Wonderful. Terrific. Sensational. Friday. Faster than a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. This begins to look like a job for Superman. Return with AMC to the days when a nickel bought you thrills, cliffhangers, and the man of steel. Thanks, Superman. Oh, it's nothing at all. The original live-action serial. I'll turn the beam on Metropolis and destroy the city. Superman, part of Movie Palace Memories. Every Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern, only on AMC. Coming soon on AMC.
She wouldn't flirt with the customers. Oh, she wouldn't know what that means. I hardly know myself. I have to have supper with a gentleman. It isn't important, but I told him I would, and I guess I'd better. I have to go to his hotel. His hotel? You're going to his rooms? Well, yes. Shouldn't I? What do you want to cry for when you can do somebody a good deed? Now, here's a man who, who supported you and, 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 and... That's right. Certainly it's right. Like the good fairy with one wave of the wand. How can you look me in the face again, madam? As for you, you miss... Drive on, drive on! Hand at home, wrecker! I don't you hound! was in the taxi cab with the waiter. <laughs> My wife? Well, how can you laugh at such a moment? Because I haven't any wife. And he doesn't know that love. Just think he doesn't know. Doesn't know what? That I'm watching over him while he sleeps. That I'm taking care of him. That I'm his good fairy. <laughs> in the Great White North. Hey! He's looking for gold. That's where I'm after earn my fare back to Seattle. Finding a girl. Put me down! You know, I know a couple of people who used to fool along like that. they got children now. And having the adventure of a lifetime. I there's some way of getting out of here. But the snows are coming on. I do declare. Clark Gable, Loretta Young, and Jack Oakey. Jack London's classic saga, The Call of the Wild. Sunday on AMC. American Movie Classics introduces an irresistible new cable channel, Romance Classics. Escape with the greatest love stories ever told, from timeless Hollywood romances to engaging television series. All day, all night, commercial free. Romance Classics, straight from the heart. Coming February 14, 1994. Call your cable company today and ask for Romance Classics. This is Al Jasbo Collins. Let's swing back with the Soundies on AMC. It's 1944, the year Bing Crosby starred in the award-winning classic Going My Way with Barry Fitzgerald. This Soundie from 1944 features Harry Lefcourt's Red Jackets with Jean Claire and Frankie Little singing a song from that film, Swinging on a Star. A mule, a mule is an animal with long, funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brawny and his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star, carry moonbeams home in a jar? A pig is an animal with dirt on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. Ah, oh, do tell me. He's got no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. Don't and if say. you don't care a feather or a pig, you may grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. And be 
bit better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. Can't write his name or read a book. To fool the people is his only thought. And though he's slippery, he still gets caught. But then if that sort of life is what you wish, ah, oh, you may grow up to be a fish. And all the monkeys aren't in the zoo. Every day you meet quite a few. So you see it's all up to you. You can be better than you are. When Tales of Manhattan opened at Radio City Music Hall, the New York Times wrote, The wires have been buzzing about an amazing new picture. Now, over 50 years later, Tales of Manhattan is still hailed as a remarkable achievement. AMC presents a star-studded cast, including Charles Boyer, Rita Hayworth, Henry Fonda, Ginger Rogers, Paul Robeson, Edward G. Robinson, and many more in the four-star classic, Tales of Manhattan. Sunday on AMC. Everyone's rushing to see the Goldwyn Extravaganza with big stars, great Gershwin songs, and laughs galore, as only Sam Goldwyn could do it. Don't miss the Goldwyn Follies. Friday on AMC. Johnson, Hollywood Reel. Coy Watson, director and photographer. The Hollywood you've never seen. Movie and television stars in the glamour capital of the world. Brought to the TV screens of the world by television's most famous reporter photographer team. Your commentator, Erskine Johnson. Millions read his famous syndicated movie column. Motion picture veteran, Coy Watson, Hollywood's first television newsreel cameraman. And now, let's go into the private life. And behind the scenes in Hollywood Reel. Encino, California. The entrance to the ranch home of a Western star. Not a dude ranch, a working ranch. And yet it's only 45 minutes from Hollywood and Vine. The real Western outdoor life in Hollywood for Roy Rogers, the king of the cowboys. The screen's number one Western star for 11 years. Roy Rogers at home in his backyard corral and some pals for his famous movie horse, Trigger. Another Hollywood Reel exclusive. Roy Rogers has a way with his fans, and here's proof that he has a way with dogs, too. There are 16 dogs at Roy's Encino Ranch, a wide variety. Springers, setters, pointers, two German shepherds, hunting dogs, and a couple of new rare breed hunting dogs brought over from Germany. Roy Rogers grew up as a farm boy in Ohio, and he's still a farm boy at heart. Fried chicken on the hoof. Yes, fried chicken is Roy's favorite dish. But this bow-legged character is just for laughs. The Roy Rogers you've never seen. The rural life in Hollywood for the king of the cowboys, and he isn't kidding. My, how Trigger has changed. Rider Newt, a bucking bronco or a bucking tractor, Roy can ride them both. Plowing time for Roy Rogers and reminding time for me. Time to remind you that Roy Rogers, former farm boy, cowhand, and radio singer, has starred in over 90 motion pictures. He's on radio and he's on television. There's a Roy Rogers comic strip, Roy Rogers clothes, and 20,000 fan letters a week. There's a Mrs. Roy Rogers, the Queen of the West, Dale Evans. And there are four children. Pretty good for a self-taught kid who grew up on a farm and still lives on a farm. Roy Rogers once recorded a song titled Make Believe Cowboy. But that doesn't apply to him, mister. He does all of his own riding, roping, and shooting. On the screen, he's a straight shooting hero. And on a tractor, well, he keeps those furrows straight, too. And that's all for now. 
Watch for the next Hollywood Reel with Erskine Johnson and Coy Watson. Remember, it's the Hollywood you've never seen. A Johnson Watson production. Give me land, lots of land. Presenting of an American legend, love. an all-American hero, Roy Rogers, the man who did more for the American Western than any other Palomino riding, gunslinging, romance singing cowboy. He was a rootin', tootin', six gun shootin', ring tail buckaroo. Now, American movie classics and Republic Pictures are proud to present a special collector's edition of Roy's finest full-length motion pictures, uncut and never before released on home video. Thank you, dear Mr. Rogers. You saved my life. This very special Roy Rogers collection includes the classics Don't Fence Me In, Lights of Old Santa Fe, San Fernando Valley, and Roy's own personal favorite. You're kind of quick on the trigger, son. My pal Trigger. What are you going to name him, Roy? I just did. Featuring his co-star and wife, the beautiful Dale Evans, that sassy sidekick Gabby Hayes, and Roy's faithful musical companions, the Sons of the Pioneers. Order this special collection for only $59.95 by calling 1-800-530-8610 and receive these beautiful reproductions of the original lobby cards. And if you call now, you'll also receive AMC's exclusive one-hour original special, Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, a fascinating documentary that provides an intimate look at the life and work of this legendary star. Seems like only yesterday. I know, I know. And Roy Rogers of that year is the same one set here. I, I still feel the same way. Give me land, the Roy Rogers Collection, complete with this handsomely packaged display case to hold all five cassettes, is available by special offer exclusively to AMC viewers and their families. The Roy Rogers Collection, only $59.95. Call now and use your Visa or MasterCard. Dear ladies and gentlemen, Hal Roach presents for your entertainment and approval, Laurel and Hardy. The legendary comedy duo that has delighted audiences for years. A half a year, to be exact, three months. And they're at your service. For at Laurel.